How are you doing, son? I'm hanging in there. Your family has a chokehold on you. The state president just called. You're probably wondering why I asked you to come and see me tonight. You're a good man, Brother Young. Are you sure? Can you believe this? I'm called as the bishop. I don't think I could handle anything else right now. I'm getting married! I can't believe this is happening. Guess he's coming for Thanksgiving. The in-laws. They can wear a cult. How do you explain to someone that they can't go to their son's wedding? You'll think of something, honey. My wife and I have waited 24 years to celebrate Peter's wedding. Now we're not even allowed to be a part of it? I understand how you're feeling. Do you really? You don't have to wait outside. You missed family home evening, and you were late again. Why is it that parents have such a hard time trusting their kids? It's not that easy when you've got a family dependent on you. First long day as the bishop. I was hoping we could do more of this together. Oh. Well, I guess I'm not going to bed yet. I don't want to be in this position. Whoa, it's that bad, huh? Family is a huge responsibility, but I can't think of anything else that would give me more fulfillment. The task is overwhelming. You have to care about the individual. We can do this. I know we can. Yeah, I think you're being a bit optimistic. So when do you report to the MTC, Elder Young? December 26th. That's the week after Sam gets home. And four days after we get married. And the day after Christmas. And three days before my birthday. One day before I go insane. <laughs> you haven't seen his bad side yet. <laughs>